that's the crack. It's crack by mental here. Gonna play some FIFA. If you've been following me for a while, you might remember back in the day I did World Cup videos on uh, the Republic of Cork back in like 2015. We had a a decent team back then, the Republic of Cork. And, and to be honest, with the coronavirus, I wouldn't be surprised if all the counties get split up and you end up with the Republic of Cork. So this right here, this could be the Republic of Cork team entering the 2022 World Cup or whenever they, they get rid of the corona and we have a World Cup again. So uh, let me just go straight into it, show you the team. In goal, we have McNulty. I decided to pick him over Kelleher because I think Kelleher is too young. I don't trust him yet. McNulty, he would probably be about 42 or 43 by the time the next World Cup comes along. He's in goal. Cork City legend. He's been, he's been the number one for like 18, 19 years. Top keeper. And we have in defence, we have really good uh, centre back pair. And we have Kevin Long, who plays for Burnley and Ireland, always gets in the Irish squad. Never plays for Burnley or Ireland, but he's he's always around the team. So having experience like that would be good will be good. John Egan, who's like Sheffield United's captain, he's fucking class, like one of the best centre backs in the Premier League this year. So like He's probably one of the few players here that's guaranteed to start for the real Republic of Ireland. So yeah, we have him centre back. Then we have a centre back, uh, Alan O'Connell, who's he's a centre back, but I'm playing him left back because one thing you'll notice about this Republic of Cork team is we have no wingers and we have no wing backs. So it's all the lads that play in central positions that have to play in the wing and have to play out wide so yeah we have alan o'connell there 66 rated not great then we have alan o'connor on the other wing uh at center he's a center back but he's right footed so he might do the job for us there out at right back then we have uh garrod marcy of cork city i'm not sure if he's ever played for anyone apart from cork city don't know if he went and played league one or something at some stage but he's he's going to be playing defensive mid with Connor Horhan, who probably isn't having as good of a season as he'd want to at uh, Aston Villa. He was their captain last year, I believe, in the championship, but doesn't get his game really nowadays. But still important for the Ireland team and very important for this Republic of Cork side. Just ahead of them, we have Alan Brown. Who's very underrated. Class player for Preston. Always starts. Like scores. I think he got like 10-15 goals for them last season. So we'll be looking for him as one of our star players. On the other wing we have Billy Clark. Who uh, started off well for Ipswich back in the day. But kind of had a career of League 1. Maybe Championship. Uh, yeah he'll be playing outright. He's got he's left footed, so I want him to kind of swing in and hit them in. Then we in front of him we have Roy O'Donovan, former Cork City player, has a bit of Premier League experience with Sunderland, so he'll be a good one to have up front. And then we have the in my opinion the star and the future of Irish football, Adam Maida. We'll be looking to him for some goals now because this team it doesn't look like we're going to get a lot of goals out of. Any of the central mid midfield players apart from Brown. So Adam Maida is going to have to chip in. So actually I should show you the subs bench. There's not really much to see. I mean Kelleher like I said too young to be starting in a World Cup. McCarthy, Cork City, Bennett. Been playing with Cork City for years. Uh, Hurley, not sure if he's even from Cork but he plays with Cork City. Uh, Graham Cummins has some League One experience. O'Connor, don't know him. And uh, Graham Buckley, or is Gary Buckley, plays for Cork City for years as well. So, terrible subs bench. Hopefully, we only have to use the starting team. But, uh, yeah, this is the group we're in. We're in, um, we're in with Mexico. We're in with Peru. We're in with Germany. <sighs> Looking at those teams, I think it's going to be hard for the Republic of Cork. I mean, I think we could... 
we could sneak into second. Like we could if we got a draw with Mexico and a win against Peru, and maybe if Mexico on goal difference, that, that's what we should hope for. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna play the first match against Germany. It's a hard start, can't lie. Uh, I'll just go straight into it. Uh, game settings. Uh, I'm gonna go legendary. I'm I'm kind of rusty on FIFA at the moment, so I'll just go for with legendary for the moment. And here we go. As you'll notice, I have the Irish kit, Irish kit, Irish flag, because it was just the easiest way to get all the card players here through the national team selection on fifa so uh hopefully now we can like if we got a draw here i'd be very happy but when i look when i look at cork like we're a country of we're only a country of thirty thousand people a new country of thirty thousand people germany here i don't know how many they have they must have 80 million 90 million or something so we'll be doing well to come away with only a 3-0 or 4-0 loss, but we have the belief and we have Adam Ida. I'm sure Adam Ida is going to come good in this tournament now, I'm telling you. Here we go. Ida starts off, passes it over. Alan O'Connor, the centre-back playing right back. If we can just keep the ball, I think that's what we really need to do in this match. Because uh, like I'm, I'm not good at the defending on this game. I don't know what FIFA we're doing with the defending this year on this game. It's one of the reasons I play Pez instead. But here we go. Starting off brightly enough. Marcy. Ida make a run. Ida. Here we go. Oh shit. Wasn't too far off though. Good move. Gnabry. Brandt. Winter. Shite. See this is what I'm saying. Like Germany... As well as that, you have to remember our players are going to be very slow. They don't have the pace. McNulty looks about 20 years younger. Alan O'Connor. Here we go, Horan. All right. All right. Here we go. O'Donovan. Go on your own. On your own. Oh. That wasn't too far off. Good effort. Good start from the Republic of Cork. Almost put it in. Good save. Right, here we go. Cross it in the box, Horhin. Here we go, can we get... Right. Let's just relax here now. O'Donovan, don't lose it. Do a bit of skill moves for you, like they do on the FIFA, on the KSI kind of videos back in the day. Right. Let's try and get a goal here. Horhin, I could have really played this at ultimate, I think, at the top. Thought it'd be a bit out of my deck, but this, this seems a little bit easy for Legendary. Considering I'm a Republic of Car. Brown. Here we go off the post. Brown swinging in. Oh. Brown. Ida. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck's sake. We're doing well, though. Like, we've had the chances. Germany haven't had any chance yet. You know? Like, we've hit the post now. O'Donovan had a good chance a while back. Ida. Horahan. Ida, here's your chance. Here we go. Bang. 1 0 the Republic of Ireland versus Germany. As this tournament goes on, I'll put the difficulty up a bit because this, this is a bit easy, even if like it's the second hardest level. I thought I'd be struggling a bit. But it's a little bit easy. Adam Ida. 1 0. Republic of Cork. We're coming for the knockout round. If we can hold a draw now, I'd be happy. Like I can, the Germans. You see, the problem is you can be dominating in this game, but because the defending is all over the place, could concede two goals in a matter of no time. Fucking tackle. Right. Ah, shite. <sighs> what a miss by them. What a miss. Gnabry, having a good season with Munich, but. Struggling at the World Cup so far. O'Connell. Right, Ida. Here we go, Marcy. Ah, shite. The idea was there, though. The idea was good. Right, Shan. Brandt. 
Here we go. John Egan. Yes. O'Connor, just give it in. Give it in. Find Ida. Oh, 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 shite. Couldn't get the fucking controls right to get your man in. Right. Burner, shite. This is where the Germans are dangerous now because my players are so slow. Oh, shite. Oh, what a say by McNulty. That's why he's our captain. That's why I picked him over Kelleher. Kelleher would have let that go through his arms. Great managerial decision. Grant. Fuck. Right. Yeah. Good call, ref. McNulty. Egan. Long. Here we go. Like I said, I'm a Pez head. Like I rarely, I rarely play FIFA nowadays. Didn't really like this year's game of it at all. I prefer Pez, but why I'm playing this on FIFA is because it has the bigger, the bigger roster. Or the you know more more players from Cork. Easy so far. One nil up. Republic of Cork, Germany. They can feel unlucky not to be one all, but look, I'm not complaining. Adam Maida. Proven to people why he's a Premier League striker. I'd say he'll get a move after this, a move away from Norwich. He'll be at United next season now, scoring against Germany in the World Cup. Ooh. Not bad. Right. I can just contain him. That's all I have to do. I'm trying to contain him like the coronavirus, the German virus. Right. Schultz. I actually saw Schultz there last year in uh, Hoffenheim. They were playing Hurt to Berlin there last year. I saw him in uh, the the stadium out there, the Olympic Stadium in Berlin. He's a class player. He doesn't get his game at Dortmund this year now. Would be a good player for one of the Premier League teams to get. Here we go, Connell. Brown. Oh, fuck. Germany, like, they look like they're, they're going to score. Like they're having too many chances. Like we're we're really right in our look. McNulty. Up to O'Connor. Oh fuck. Fucking dickhead. Oh. Oh. Ah. Offside. It's offside, is it? Yes. Oh, we are so lucky, but what a historic moment and like Republic of Cork, even to be 1-0 up 60 minutes into a World Cup match against Germany. Very impressive. Half set. Ida. Yes. Alan Brown, here we go. Here we go. Oh, penalty, surely. What the fuck? He was brought down. Jesus. He'd no, he'd no reason to want to dive there. Fuck's sake. It's a penalty. Ah, oh, nah, don't. All right. We're really right in our look, but like we could have been two nil up there. Right, Marcy. Adam Maida, what a ball! Here we go. Ah, oh, you gotta be quicker than that. Schultz again. He's been their danger, man. Oh, shite. And if someone free there, I can't tackle in this shite. Fuck. It was inevitable. I thought they might put up the offside flag or something again. Oh, fuck. Shit goal to give away. Near, near post. Fuck. We won't worry, though. We won't worry. Once we don't lose, like I think, like a draw against Germany, first ever get match in the World Cup, this is very good. I know Germany were shy at the last World Cup, but like this is a very, very good result if we can keep this. Schultz, Germany are really like, they're taking it up another level now. Oh, lads, lads, lads. Relax, just relax. Relax, he's going nowhere. Oh, you fuck. 
Oh, Jesus. Well done, McNulty. Right. Oh, fuck. Can't give the ball away to them. Because they will fucking score. Right, right, right. Alan O'Connor. Here we go. Go on, Clark. Here we go. Here we go. Stay calm. Stay calm. Clark, go all the way, by. Oh, yes. Yes. 2-1. Billy Clark, Liga 1 striker. Scores against Germany for the Republic of Cork. 2020 World Cup. You couldn't make it up. What a goal. It was a little bit poxy. I mean, Neuer, you know, like he... he oh, it's not Neuer, it's Terstegen. See, that's the problem. They should have had Neuer putting on Buckley. Just, oh, he just scored and got taken off. I mean, we don't deserve to be winning, but we are, so I'll take it. I see now. 2-1. Just a great run from him, like. I mean, just hold it now. That's all that's all we need to do, like. Germans. Who the fuck is Waldschmidt? I've never heard of him in my life. Right, here we go. Fuck it, we might even go for 3-1 while they have everyone forward. Ida. Oh, go on. Right, I think O'Donovan's gone into an offside. Right, here we go. Corner flag. No, I'm not that lame. Right. Well done, lads. Here we go. Yes. There's the first match. 2-1. This was the first goal. Like, what a fucking... Just what a finish by Ida. Like, he's he's get, he's going to United. Not, not even United. He's going to Madrid. If they if they if they've seen that he's going to Madrid, what a finish. I'm gonna put up the difficulty level for the next match because I gotta be honest, that was a lit a little bit easy, like. So next match we're going game settings. Oh shit, I was only on world class. No wonder that was so easy. I'm going ultimate next time, alright? Might get trashed this time, but look fuck it. Gotta do something with the coronavirus, right? I don't really play these stupid uh, interval things. Right. Come on, start button. Right. Next match, Mexico. <sighs> I take a draw. Like, that first match, like, we overperformed. To be fair, like, the fact it was only on world-class difficulty kind of made it easier, so... This is ultimate now, the hardest difficulty you can get, so I don't know what's going to happen here. Lozano. Fuck. Right, just, just relax, lads. Just relax. Oh, shit. Herrera, what a save, McNulty. Right. Like, I can already see, like, this is much harder, and they fucking already scored. So, like, <laughs> just shows you. This is Republic of Cork. It's like, this is going to be the match where we realise we're not Republic of Cork. Billy Clark scores against Germany. We win 2-1. We're Republic of Cork, a nation of 300,000 people. <sighs> right, right. Brown. Just hold up the ball, lads. Just, just get back to the basics. Right. Ida. Ah, oh, shit. See, they look like they'll score any time they want. Ah, lads, lads, lads. Oh, great save, McNulty. That was good now. O'Connor. Lads, just relax, okay? Just relax. They're not that good. They're not. Oh, shite. Oh, he's going to score. Oh, what a save. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus, lads. Oh, we're being humbled here. I should have just kept it on world class. Made it seem like I was unreal at this game. But nah, like I said, I'm a Pez head. 
the defending on this leg is the real turn off for me to be honest it's just too hard to defend on this O'Connor Anthony O'Connor here we go Marcy right right Ida right now make a run Ida yes yeah oh shit fuck lads Lozano, right, 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 shit, shit, oh, lads, 3 new. oh, it's getting a bit embarrassing now, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take the difficulty down to legendary next match. For the last one against Peru, because it looks like we're going to lose this unless we can come up with something. Fucking, I don't had a good chance there a few minutes ago. Fortunately, it wouldn't just just wouldn't stand from. Oh Jesus, lads! Fuck's sake, it's too easy. Near post, the pace they have. See, this is where. Look at the, look at the pace my defenders have. Like they're getting nowhere near him. Fuck's sake. Four nil. Oh no. Anthony O'Connor. Ah uh, lads. I think I've lost it a bit in this game. Like I'm not I'm not at the level I should be. Jimenez. This this is realistically what would happen in the World Cup. Like if Republic of Cork were playing Mexico. Although, then again, we do have John Egan, so we wouldn't be conceding this much. It's new kind. Ah, oh, Billy Clark. Ah, uh, lads. Ray Horhan. Ray. Let's just chillax, you know. Goal difference might come into it at the end, so let's try and get a few, few goals at least. Yeah, what a ball. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Oh, I can't. This is annoying, like I can't deny it's fucking Oh right for him. Marcy. Oh Jesus. Jimenez, no. Lazano again, it's like the pace they have. Oh Jesus Christ. What can I do about that? It's the pu it's just the pace, the defence, they can't run. Ah Jesus. Five nil down before half time. I'm being completely humbled here. Completely. Marcy. Go on. Fucking do something. Jesus Christ. Rubbish. Lozano, no. Just stop him. Stop him. Oh. 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 Yeah, I'm actually taking Clark off and putting Buckley on. I'm, I've just... I've. He's just, he's adding nothing to today's game. You know, we're really seeing who he is. He's a League One player playing in the World Cup. Right, Ida, come on. You've done fuck all. Right, Ida, give it back. Right, for him. Take a shot. Fuck's sake, you should be scoring that. Like, that's the one thing fucking Horan has is his fucking shooting. And he, ah, oh, fuck's sake. Five nil down. Are we six? No, it's five. 5-0 down at half time. Let's try and do something and get back into this, lads. I'm being like, this is embarrassing at the moment. Romo. Who's Romo? I've never heard of him. Yes. Right. Let's get back. Buckley. Well done, Bucks. That's where you're on. Ah, fuck's sake. Roy O'Donovan, like, what the fuck are you doing? Ah, oh, lads. Oh, okay, okay. We'll chill. Buckley, here we go. Go on, Ida. Right. On to Buckley again. There's no fucking pace. For fuck's sake. It's better, though. Better moves. Better from now. Let's read this. Oh, shite. Lads. Lads. Oh, what a save. Right. Here we go. Counter-attacking. That's how we're going to get back into this. For him. Buckley. 
Oh fuck. Should have kept on fucking Billy Clark. Oh lads, oh, it's the same type of goal every time. McNulty's got his act together this half though, he's not not letting him score like that. Look at this, no pace. This is kind of what I don't like about FIFA. It is a bit just like a ping pong game, you know, where it pays you to kind of like think. You know, you have to like think before you can go forward. On FIFA, it's just like whatever. True ball and you're in. Right, Brown. Oh, you fuck. How's the run? Oh, lads, it's going to be six, but I mean, we were looking at San Marino territory at one stage. We were 5 0 down at half time. At least it looks like it's going to be something respectable. Like maybe like seven or something. All right, we're 5 0 down, 20 minutes to go. Peru's really the match that we have our eyes on. We got we got our win against Germany, so we're doing okay. Oh fuck, guys! Oh, lads, lads, lads! Ah, Jesus! I'm actually taking Ida off. I'm I'm a bit pissed at him. Like he hasn't he hasn't done enough. I know I can't blame him. We're six 0 down, but like I don't know. Just expect more. Like maybe Madrid are going to be thinking about that move, like seeing this match. Like could he could he be just another Luka Luka Jovic or whatever his name is, and end up on the bench? Right. Oh, that's. I need to be able to keep the ball. Lozano, Jesus, what a strike! I don't know who Lozano plays for. I think it's is it Atletico now or is it someone else? Some Spanish side, I think. Oh no, it's Napoli. There's a Napoli now. We weren't having the best of seasons. Well, when the season was on. Oh, lads. No. Oh, fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. I don't even know who this D. O'Connor fella is, but. I need, I need something. This has been. this. <sighs> Has a team ever beaten Germany 2-1 and then lost 7-0 to Mexico? I don't know. Then again, Mexico beat Germany in the last World Cup, so... Maybe they just are better than the Germans. They're definitely proven in this match. Oh, shit. Yeah, good defence. See? You need to kind of, like, figure out the whole new defence thing on FIFA, and it's, it takes a while to adjust to... What the fuck was that? Buckley. Let's finish on a high. Let's get, let's get one goal. Let's get one goal and finish off. Finish off with something to take into the match against Peru. Right. Here we go. Right. Didn't fall to anyone. Right. That's that. That's. This has been an embarrassment of a match. Finished 7 0. So. We'll go to the next match and we'll try and beat Peru. Like, if we beat Peru, we, we're, we're, we're true. Like, I, I, I presume we're true to the knockout stage if we beat Peru. I mean, we might be. We might end up Mexico. Oh, Mexico drew with Peru. So, yeah, we, we need Germany to beat Peru. Or we need Germany to beat Mexico and we need to beat Peru. So, or Mexico to beat Germany. Whatever happens, someone needs to lose in the other match and we need to beat Peru.